What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel and happy new year. I wanted to start 2021 off with a video about my 2020 game changers. I did this for the first time last year, I think, where instead of doing a makeup favorites or just best in beauty kind of thing, I wanted to narrow it way, way down to just the things that truly change the way I do my makeup, my daily routine or my skincare, hair, whatever it is. But because I tend to try something and then use it on repeat for months and months and months, I feel like that gets repetitive and you already know my favorites at this point. So this video is reserved specifically for the products that I mean, they will change your life. However, because that bar is so high, I had to branch out of beauty this year. Otherwise we're talking like three products. So I got a little beauty, I got a little fashion, I got a little fitness if you're interested. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first, let's tackle some beauty. This will come as no surprise to anyone who knows that I am constantly looking for the best, easiest, fastest way to apply false lashes, lash liner glue. This is a product that kind of exploded this year. A bunch of brands now have these out anywhere from indie makeup brands, have some super colorful lash glue liners to your classic Kiss or iLure. I actually just bought some from them. They recently launched some. So they're pretty well available now. If you haven't tried them, I highly recommend it. Basically, they are lash glue that comes in an eyeliner format and it works really well, like just as good I would argue better than traditional lash glue. I Traditional lash glue is actually what keeps me from wearing false lashes most of the time because it's gloopy, you get it on your lash, you have to wait for your lash to dry, which I mean, does anyone really know how long? 30 seconds, a minute, it, too long for me, if you ask. And then without fail, my inner corner, my outer corner, something happens and the lash doesn't stay put. Lash liner, is just as strong, if not stronger, much easier to apply if you just wanna put like a little, I mean, it's a relatively thick line, but I mean, I'm wearing it today and I feel like it doesn't, I'm not wearing a massive line along my upper lash line. So just a relatively thin band across your lash line, you stick your lashes on and because your lashes will only stick where you put that glue, there is no kind of off kilter lash situation going on. They are foolproof. In my opinion, this lash glue pens are absolutely foolproof. And so if you ever struggled with false lashes like I have, and you're looking for something that's quick and easy, that's the way to go. It has totally changed the way I apply my false lashes, made it better, made it faster. I don't think I can say enough good things. So let's just go ahead and move on. Okay, next up, let's talk about makeup removal. I have totally eliminated cotton rounds, washcloths, makeup wipes out of my makeup removal routine entirely with face halos. And I know a couple of companies have similar things to these out lately. Basically it is a cloth round or like the makeup eraser is a, a larger cloth piece that you wet and you use to remove your makeup. I, for the longest time, didn't understand how these work, that you had to add the water, take your makeup off. I just, I really struggled with these, but once I got the hang of it, like put the cleanser on thoroughly, you know, massage my face with this thing, it works beautifully. And also it works, I, I have a few up here. I keep them up in my filming space always because I'm swatching things on my arm, I'm swatching lipsticks, and I need like a quick change in between shades, or I want a quick color switch on my brush. This acts as a really nice color switch as well. So I kind of keep these everywhere, my bathroom, my makeup space, everywhere where I need to kind of clean up and I would normally use a paper towel or a makeup wipe or whatever, I have replaced them all with these. I finally, after a year, I bought these, I think last January, maybe even December, 2019. And I bought two six packs and I, only when Face Halo had a sale this year, bought my second round of six. So this is this is a pack of three and then I bought another pack of three because they were having a sale. I These probably last me longer than six months. I think I opened up my, my second pair of three in August or September, maybe even. They just last for so long. And even when um, you're done using them for your face, I use them to like clean counters and stuff like that. Like it's, it's still a functional cloth. So I don't know. I just get so much good out of these. And again, there are more brands out there than Face Halo that makes these these days. I, this just happens to be the one that I've tried and like, so we'll continue to go with. But if you haven't tried a makeup remover cloth, do because it will totally change not just your makeup removal game because it also in addition to removing things 
adds a light exfoliation as there as well, which is nice. Um, but it can also help you just like clean up makeup messes, clean your makeup brushes in between applications. And if you damp dampen them, especially it'll help wet your makeup brush so that your color, your pigment goes on even more intensely. There's just so many uses for these and I can't recommend them enough. And last for beauty, let's talk hair care. So I have very thin, very fine hair. And for up until the beginning of 2020 had been wearing extensions, mostly tape-ins for for maybe five years at that point. I really didn't, wasn't aware of the state of my hair because, you know, when I go get my extensions out, I'd immediately get them back in again. But in middle, you know, beginning middle of 2020, when salons closed, I had to remove my extensions myself and had some time to sort of assess the health of my hair. And even though there weren't, um, there weren't any like overt thinning areas or bald spots or nothing like that, I just thought, what would my hair be like for a few months without the extensions and with maybe giving my hair a little bit of TLC? And so in doing that, I turned to Olaplex and it has totally changed my hair. The way, like how thick it is, how thick it feels, how it behaves when I style it. It's It's been an absolute life changer for my hair. So uh, there, Olaplex has an entire sort of system. I think they have one, two, five products. This is a kit, knowing how much I now love it. My mom got me a kit for Christmas that contains um, the hair perfector, shampoo, conditioner, and then a bond smoother. And then number zero is like this treatment that you can use every few weeks. It's like a liquid mask, a very thin liquid mask you run through your hair, leave it in for 10 or 20 minutes, wash it out. I did notice some good things with that, um, but have only used it a handful of times, whereas the shampoo and conditioner is what I have noticed the making the biggest difference in my hair. It feels not only thicker and healthier at the root, but also just, you know, root to end. It's easier to style my hair holds a style better when I use this. And it's really just been feeling thicker and healthier with, you know, two months use of that is when I started to notice it. Even with heat styling, I still use my Dyson on a daily basis, whether or not I'm drying my hair or if I haven't washed it that day, I still style it with the curling elements. By the way, Dyson, my Dyson hair dryer and curling, uh, what's it called? Whatever the dryer and curling wand is, that was in my 2019 Life Changers and stand by it to this day. It's, it's a totally transformative product. And I would recommend it if you have your eye on it. But even with heat styling, pretty much every day. My hair still feels, you know, thicker and healthier than it ever did with extensions. I mean, obviously it felt thicker because I had the extra hair of the extensions, but just naturally without it, it feels a lot better. I, I will likely go back to my extensions someday because I had recently started, I just gotten a new set of extensions from a brand new brand using a new technique that I do really like, but in the meantime, I have just been really loving the added natural fullness and thickness of my hair. Now let's move on to fashion. This first thing is simple, probably a little silly to people who have already discovered this, but it's in case you don't know about it, you have to. It is felt hangers. I got these from Walmart. I'm sure they're on Amazon. Everywhere you can buy a hanger, they probably have these felt or at least um, textured sort of hangers. Basically, they keep your clothing from sliding off. I, since the beginning of time, the dawn of time, have been using these plastic hangers. Don't do that. No more. Because what I had hated them doing to my clothes was that, um, you know, my shirts, not necessarily with one like this, but shirts that are kind of longer, flowier, and therefore have a lot of weight to the bottom of them, it'll pull the necklines down and over. And so you get those spiky uh, shoulder things. And then you'll also just get this really stretched out neckline that doesn't really sit right the way you want it to. It happens with sweaters and just generally anything with a, a wider neckline, those items wouldn't stay on my hangers. The, I have t almost totally converted my closet to these because they make such a big difference. Because there's this texture here, it rubs up against just about any fabric. I have even hung satin with this and it keeps it in place just because of that friction. So you don't have to worry about the weight of your clothes like naturally stretching your necklines or your jackets falling off of hangers or anything like that. These have just totally changed my closet. And then as far as clothing items go, I would have to say the real winners I only discovered 
were late in 2020. They are from the brand Veta, and I just did a capsule try on from them. But if I had to pick one piece that total that I just wear on repeat because it is so it is just that good, it is their oversized sweater. And I talked about this in that recent try on video. If you want to go give it a watch, but I'll also kind of show you snippets of it here. Um, this sweater is not only reversible, um, but you can also remove the turtleneck off of it and you can unbutton it so it is a cardigan as well. And that, that level of versatility is why it is an absolute wardrobe changer for me because you can get so many different looks out of it. I plan on having like a kind of seeing how many outfits I can make with it in all of those various states as kind of a, I don't, I don't know what the whole plan is, but I just really want to challenge myself to see how many outfits I can make out of it. So plan on seeing a video about that coming up soon, but it's just an amazing sweater, highly recommended. You will wear it all the time. Last of for fashion, and this will actually segue nicely into the fitness at the end, are sports bras. Except now that I think about it, I think I might have started using these in 2019. Either way, you need to, I definitely bought more in 2020, so we're, we're gonna count it. They are these sports bras from a brand called SheFit. As someone who's curvier, has a fuller bust, a 34 double D, technically E according to Third Love, which by the way, not just an annoying podcast ad, it, they're actually a great bra company, found that out in 2022, kind of a bonus little game changer, I suppose. But anywho, 34 double D. And so it can be hard to find bra sports bras specifically that are supportive enough for running, jump squats, burpees, just any, any sort of like really rigorous activity. It can be hard to find that support. And I know a few of you guys who when I do fashion videos kind of talk about how hard it is to find clothing and items like that, that kind of give you what you need for the body and the body type that you have. So I love their bras because they are adjustable in three ways. They have uh, shoulder straps. You can like pull and tighten it in that way. And then it also has a chest strap that goes all the way around. Plus they zip in the front. So they are super easy to take on, take off. And because of those adjustable straps, they are so supportive because you can tighten them to, you know, as, as much as you want it to be to give you all the support you need or let it down, obviously. And so it's not quite as restrictive, but I'm telling you, they are just like, the best sports bras in the world. Um, my prefer, I guess, going into fitness in 2020, as I'm sure with everyone's fitness routines and schedules have been super disrupted because of the closure and limitations around gyms and things like that. So about halfway through like June, June, July, I think is when I got this fight camp. It is an in-home boxing system. I ended up buying the whole thing, um, but the things that I really recommend are the punch trackers and the app. They have an app that is super fun and motivational because what I struggle with and what I liked going to a gym for was the accountability and the social component. And that is what motivates me to work out and kind of break through any mental hurdles that were standing in my way. And so when I didn't wanna go back to a gym, I was looking around and Actually, I think an Instagram ad for them found me because I was looking at all these other fitness alternatives and I am such a sucker for Instagram ads, but this is another one where I, no regrets, no regrets with this purchase because it has kept me so engaged and active and like feeling good and feeling strong uh, that I can't rec recommend it enough. However, I will say, like I said, I bought the whole kit. They have the bag and the base comes with squares to put the bag on gloves, wraps, trackers for your punches. And then I think you get one month of the app membership for free. Um, if you are more familiar with sports equipment, I wasn't, which is why I went with the whole set. But if you're more familiar with like punching bags and boxing gloves, you can get these things. I know you can for a lot cheaper on like Amazon or a sporting goods store, something like that. That's the one thing where as as a whole, like it's, it's not an inexpensive at home system. I mean, it's probably comparable with a, a Peloton, you know, like the bike or the treadmill or things like that. But if you want to save some money, I think you could do those things independently. You really just need the trackers and the app. And I say you need the trackers, not just to go with the app, but because that's a major motivating factor 
factor for me. The trackers track your punch count as well as your punch force. So they give you like a measure of your total output that you can either use to better yourself in the same workout or, you know, each day if you just kind of want to track how your progress, how you're doing each day. And there are leaderboards so you can see how you rank in each workout and try to like, you know, if you redo the same workout, kind of fight your way up. Um, if you're a beginner, like I was, they have a beginner track and they have a kickboxing track if you want to try that. There are just so many different ways that you can kind of get moving and also stimulate your mind with this app. I think that's why I ultimately went with that over you know, like a bike or kind of a machine or something that is more monotonous because boxing stimulates your mind more with the different patterns and the kicking and all that kind of stuff. It's a mind workout too. So those are all of my game changers for 2020. I hope you didn't mind the inclusion of some non-beauty bits here, but like I said, there wasn't a whole lot new in beauty that like really revolutionized what I do on a daily basis. Let me know if, you know, you have some other things to throw in there though. What really changed the game for you in 2020? Can be beauty, can be anything else. Let us know down in the comment section below and thank you so much for watching guys. Happy new year. Let's make it a good one. I don't know, bye.